Nick here, and tonight I'm going to do a little bit of a live sneak preview of a very, very interesting little piece here. This is the uh, Lambic Cutlery Busker. So many of you may remember that um, back in uh, June, I went to the Blade Show, which was a heck of an experience as a, uh, as a knife geek. And uh, so going to the Blade Show, I got to handle a whole bunch of things from a whole bunch of people. And in fact, I identified while I was there my top four knives that were, uh, that, that were most exciting and interesting to me. All of which you've seen on the channel, except one. Um, the first of which was the uh, Brad Southern Mini Tolk, which I have uh, picked up in the interim and which I have very, very much appreciated. The uh, Koenig Arius was also on that list. Uh, I've got a review of that little guy up, and it is really, really good. Just as I thought at the show, the Alamic Swish, uh, there is a review up of that guy. And that is a knife that is absolutely beautiful with a whole bunch of good. Um, and so that's excellent. And then one of the honorable mentions actually is on my table as well. And that's uh, this little guy right here. This is the uh, Millet Knives Torrent, uh, which is a very pretty knife, especially with this beautiful damascus steel finish on here. Um, but it is, uh, this was also on my list, although at the time I couldn't count it officially because it was just a prototype. But this... Um, this little guy was something that I saw at Alamic's table there. At that point, I met Eugene, who is one of the owners of Alamic Cutlery, and um, he had a pair of these on the table, and they blew me away. Um, it was very, very quickly apparent to me that they had made a damn near perfect Nick Shabazz knife. Um, and so I immediately started telling him to, well, take my damn money. And it quite literally looked like that. I would message Eugene every couple of weeks saying, hey, take my damn money, because I was very, very interested in this knife. And so finally, after a good long time in development and research and getting everything set up on their end, they have launched the Alamic Tactical well, now it's, I guess, cutlery or whatever the heck it is. Whatever Alamic is, um, this has been launched. This is the Alamic Busker. So um, let's go on ahead and take a look here. Do the final unboxing. So right here inside this very box is... The CRKT Pila. This is a very interesting little piece. It's a uh, collaboration between uh, Jesper Voxnes and uh, the uh, the CRKT. You can see, it's a nice small folder with a big thick uh, blade here, titanium frame or uh, steel frame lock. I mean, oh wait, wait, hold on, hold on. You you didn't. Uh, that's not what you were after. Oh, okay. So right here inside this box, inside this very beautiful little foam packaging is... Actually, hold on. Have I shown you this guy? This is a uh, Spyderco Dragonfly, except it's in G10 uh, with the handles here, which is... Uh, it gives it a different element, makes it nice metal. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Hold, hold on. Hold, sorry. I got a little distracted there. All right. Inside this little package is the Alamic Cutlery Busker. So, this is a neat little knife for a couple of reasons. Um, this is, uh, for starters, this is a weird knife in terms of its deployment. This right here, you can see, is a front flipper. You can treat it as such. So, the way that you pop the blade open is you flip it out to the side like that. Um, or, you can do it by using this little thumb hole here, popping it out that way. Or, you can flick it open like that. Or... There are all kinds of other million different ways that you can pop this little knife open. It's actually kind of impressive, all of the variety of things that you can do to open this little knife here. There we go. And uh, this is the specific configuration that I have ordered. Um, this guy actually has this nice little patch of Thai Mascus on the side of it. Thai Mascus being a, uh, a mix of various, to the best of my knowledge, it's a mix of various alloys of titanium that take different characteristics when you heat them up. And holy crap, is it pretty. Um, I had seen one of these guys on the table at the Blade Show. Not uh, not the uh, busker, mind you, but one of the... Um Oh, come on. I think it was a 24-7. And it was just like, oh, God, I want that. And so I, when when it came time for Busker, and I, I, I decided to go that route. On the back here, we have a very nice firework backspacer with S's for Shabazz, although actually that wasn't what I thought about. But then I realized, holy crap, S for Shabazz. That's a beautiful thing. Then on the back here, and we can see that all of the hardware here has been anodized to match the backspace. Uh, I'm sorry, the um, Timascus here, which is just absolutely a beautiful thing. There 
were a bunch of other really nice aspects of this knife, a lot of really good details, which is honestly what I've come to expect out of a Lamech. They do very, very good work in terms of your details. For instance, you can see here that it has a clip, but this clip, unlike on the Swish, is not a contoured clip. Uh, I'm sorry, not a uh, milled clip. Instead, this guy has a uh, just a good old-fashioned springy sort of clip. But interestingly, if you take a look at the clip here, you can see that they have milled out a relief area inside this clip in order to uh, give us a little bit of extra flexitude from the titanium there. Um, size comparison, somebody just asked for, and that's a really great point. Right here it is against your Spydeco Delicus. You can see this is not a very large knife at any stretch of the imagination. This is a little tiny guy. And in fact, if we fold these guys up together, what we can see here is that the, the Busca fits within the frame, the profile of the Delica, particularly this blade shape. There are two blade shapes that are available um, for this guy. One has a uh, uh, more of a conventional shapey sort of uh, nose to it. Then there's this little guy. So that one's called the Lago. Um, and this little guy is called the Semper. Um, which is, uh, the reason I picked this little guy out is because it will be a little bit thinner at the top of the pocket because there's just this little area down here. But um, it is very, very nice in the pocket. And I say that for a few reasons. First off, look at the angle of the clip. It hangs off to one side, which is very nice. And in fact, this little tab here is hanging off against the side of your pocket. Again, very, very nice thing. It is completely sealed. There is no access to the blade here. There is zero possibility that you're going to cut yourself on the blade back here which I love very, very much, no pocket pack. It is also relatively thin. If we do a thickness comparison next to the Delica, you can see this is just about as thin as the Delica, which is pretty excellent and makes this pretty excellent, though, uh, in terms of carry. Um, this really disappears in the pocket in a great way. Um, a couple of other size comparisons that merit doing. Uh, right here is the Spydeco Dragonfly. And so you can see that in terms of overall blade length, they're actually fairly similar, although this guy has more effective blade just because, uh, well... The finger choil is more of a half-half sort of an affair. And in fact, if we do the little measurement here, we can see the blade comes in on this guy at two and a half inches, which is going to make this legal in a bunch of places. This is a great knife for Boston, for Cleveland, that kind of thing. Holy crap. It's going to be useful in that way, too. Um, it is also very much a, and particularly in this configuration, this is not a knife that people are going to run from screaming which is pretty excellent, um, at least in the lunchroom. Uh, given your lunchroom may be very different than mine, but yeah. The other thing that I got to highlight is that there were a lot of really nice details on this knife. I mean, a Lamech is definitely, they are folks for details, but you can see a bunch of them. Um, for instance, if we look on the inside here, what we can see is that there is a lock bar insert, and that lock bar insert includes an over-travel stop, which on a relatively thin lock bar like this does bring me a lot of joy and frankly brings me a lot of confidence. Um, but you can also see here that they've made a little chamfer here to allow you to just grab this with your finger and disengage the lock easily, easily, easily. And considering that this knife has a fidget factor of 5,000, um, it is very, very nice that you can pop that open without that kind of pain. I've been dealing lately with a couple of knives that have just had really unpleasant opening experiences, I'm sorry, closing experiences. This one just isn't one of them. Some other details that are very nice, this jimping here, I'm actually kind of loving um, because it is fairly aggressive. I mean, you can see it there um, and it does absolutely grab the finger, but it's not like tear you open jimping, which is very, very nice nice to me. Um, and so that's, that's pretty excellent. Um, there are <laughs> people are commenting about maybe it's not even California safe. Well, Olamic's in California. Hopefully that's okay. The lanyard hole on here feels pretty well designed. You can see they've put nice chamfers throughout. And in fact, you can see that the floating backspacer has beautifully aligned holes going all the way through in there. You can see here that it's a floating backspacer. So there is a gap on either side of it, but it is a controlled gap. You can see my hand going through there. It's a controlled gap, so it's even. It's not like they've just screwed it up so there are gaps, but it's it's just a beautiful thing there. The opening hole on here is chamfered all the way around, which is just great. The blade steel, by the way, is M390, which is no slouch. It's among the best steels roughly ever. And the nice thing, well, another nice thing about it is that, well, it will cut. This is, even though the blade stock is a little bit on the thickest side, it will absolutely cut in a very nice way. Uh, it has a semi-hollow-ish ground, uh, grind that is to it, which means that especially out in this middle part, it cuts like a champ, uh, which is absolutely great. 
And I mean, they've just done so many nice things. There's a very nice little polish on the bottom here. <laughs> Lord Finkelbottom says, finally, a knife small enough for your hands. <laughs> yeah, that's you nailed it there, Lord. Um, but yeah, a couple of other nice details. You can see here that the backspacer has been anodized to match the, uh, the, the uh, well, the hardware as well as the... Uh, pivot here as well as the Timascus, which is a nice little thing. They could have done without that, but they went ahead and went for it. Each knife is uh, serialized. So you can see here, this is B004 or uh, B044S. I don't know what the S for. I assume it means Shabazz. Um, so either way, that's uh, that, that's pretty impressive. One thing I'm loving particularly, take a look at the side of this guy. That says Alamic Busca rather than Alamic Tactical. If they had put Tactical on this knife, I would have just died laughing. Um, but they, they, they did not, which is good. This has a ceramic detent ball in there, which is great. I've already disassembled it um, because... I am who I am. It runs even better now, but um, and it's it's just it's a simple thing done well. Stainless steel washes on the inside there. Um, it's it's just a beautiful thing. And so this is a knife that I very very much enjoy. In this particular configuration, it is relatively expensive. I want to say it was about five hundred ninety five bucks with the Damascus panel, which definitely increased the cost. This is not a cheap little material here, but you can order a uh, a more. Uh, well, a uh, lightweight version of this guy without the Timascus, without the fancy backspacer, uh, for 365 bucks, which is a very, very compelling price for something like this. Um, it's a small knife, but a small knife that's done as well as this guy is, I think that's okay. So there's a lot of money in this little guy. It is absolutely, let's be real here, especially with this Timascus panel. It's kind of pocket jewelry, but for the folks like me who enjoy that, then by God, it's some quality pocket jewelry, especially with the nice polished anodizations on here. They've just done a great chance. Oh, man. So um, this is the, the, the Alamic Busca. They are now available for ordering. I can... Yeah, I, I think it's just alamic.com slash busker or something like that. But if you look on their website, they've got everything up there. Um, this is absolutely a contender for the permanent collection. And frankly, this is uh, just a great little piece for uh, for areas like next time I go to Cleveland. This is my carry. Case freaking closed. Um, because of that size, is just great. And I already know two or three people in my life who are going to want one of these. Um, and so I, I really, really, really like this little knife. Um, only a couple of, a couple? Actually, I can only really think of one negative on it, and that is that the stock is a little bit on the thick side. So if you're cutting up an apple, for instance, it'll probably crack the apple. Um, I asked Eugene from Alamic about that. He said that it got a little too flimsy in this steel when it was, uh, when they went any thicker. And you know what? Ah, sorry guys, given the uh, hollowness of the grind here, or at least given the thinness of the grind, we'll put it that way, uh, it will still absolutely cut. But that's really the only thing I can find to complain about here. I'm not seeing any of my knife gripes. The clip works great uh, with plenty of relief here, and actually a reasonably deep carry. I'm liking this knife a lot. They've moved to Torx rather than the, uh, the, 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 the two-dot pivot that they used to use on the Swish and the 247. I think Eugene knew in my heart just would have broken in half there. Um, had they done that? And, you know, considering that the base model of this guy goes for like 365, which isn't that much above... Uh, where, like, your, your, your technos are at, um, you know, yeah, it's, it's very, very nice, and considering that I started off the day carrying this little guy, which, don't get me wrong, is actually kind of a fine knife, um, then moved up to this one, this is a very nice comparison for what you get when you pay a lot more money for a knife, uh, this little guy, I think, is about 40 bucks, and it's fine, it's nice enough, this guy, way nicer, oh, it's gotta wait real quick, I haven't actually weighed this guy, I mean, it's dense, but it's not all that crazy heavy. Comes in at 2.97, so it's a little bit over an ounce an inch, uh, but not by all that much. And so, yeah, that's that's really, really impressive. Um, I just like this knife a lot, and I'm really, really glad that I kept on uh, Olamic to take my freaking money and sell me one of these guys, and I'm glad that I bought it for myself rather than just waiting to do a loan. They're going to be doing, it seems, to cut through $100 bills quite literally. <laughs> yes, yes, that it does. Um, but no, they're going to be doing some other blade shapes, apparently. Um, I've only seen the one, the, the Lago blade, and then this little guy. I'm 
curious to see what else is going to be coming down there. Um, but yeah, it's a uh, it's a very very nice little affair here. I I, I like this absolutely a lot. And so uh, and you know yeah. So there you go. Um, that's a sneak preview of your uh, Alamic uh, tactical. Oh God, even I'm saying it now. Your Alamic busker, whatever the heck you want to call it. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to think if there's anything else worth sneak previewing at the moment. Um, no, not offhand. One thing I am going to say, I'm, this is completely and totally freaking beside the point, guys. Um, but hey, hey, we're here. Why not? Uh, so I just saw Blade Runner 2049. Uh, th that was my, my evening activity here uh, with the fiance. That was actually a really good movie. I'm going to do an impromptu secondary review here. I, I freaking love that film um, because it was it, it's the details, guys. I, I'm not going to spoil a damn thing about this film, but the details are there. Um, not only necessarily in terms of, you know, plot-wise, it, it's pretty damn solid, but if you look at the lighting, every lighting color corresponds to particular people and uh, or uh, specific uh, organizations, that kind of thing, shall we say. The, the, the lighting details, at one point in time, there's a scene where the light is tracking around the room. It's just freaking gorgeous. The cinematographer for that must be incredible. And so, in some ways, in the same way that I like knives like this, for having all of the details locked in freaking place, I, I like the Blade Runner. So, if you're interested in uh, seeing some film, I would really recommend that. It's one of the better films I, uh, I've seen in a little while, and it was a really, really nice uh, follow-up to the original, given many, many, many years later. So, uh, yeah, anyways, that's completely and totally beside the point but this is the alamic busker i highly highly recommend this guy um they are available and i'm gonna be doing a review i'm gonna wait until the honeymoon's off because right now i'm really loving this but honestly i'm not seeing much that i don't love and usually even when i'm on the honeymoon i see okay this is not so stellar but this is pretty excellent um so yeah that's a uh oh and uh, here it is next to your mini talk so you can see here that although the mini talk isn't huge, this guy, oh, and of course, let's put it down next to another nice little gentleman's carry. ZT452CF. Yeah, this guy is uh, a little bit smaller. But anyways, that's the Alamic Busker. Really, really nicely done. Uh, Alamic, great freaking job. Uh, and I can totally see why I waited so long for this little guy. I think it's going to fit me and my particular lifestyle very, very well. May not be the best thing for uh, your, your bushcraft and, and whatnot, but hey. Anyways, hope this has been interesting to you guys, and have yourselves just an absolutely wonderful rest of your day. Bye, everybody.